Hi, this is Otto from Mimax, and you might have seen a few of my videos regarding the uh, masking system. So I thought, why not make um, a video with a basic electric projection screen? Because some of you might want to make your own screen. Um, I'm going to show you how, because it's, it's relatively simple, if you have the right, uh, right parts for it. And basically all you need is what I have here on the table. Um, so we're going to start with the tube. This is the tube onto which the screen fabric will be rolled onto. On one side, we'll be placing the electric motor, which is this one. To make the motor match to the tube, you need two pieces, which are these two. And we're going to slide these on. One will be placed here. The other will be put at the end. And this will basically connect the tube to the motor, so that when the, the motor starts turning, the tube will turn as well. So these fit into this side. The motor is then connected to the side of the wall or um, a case that you will create yourself. It clicks in on this side. So you have your fixation on one side. So basically, that's one side of the projection screen covered, the motor side. On the other side of the tube, you have to insert this piece to make sure that when the tube turns, It will actually have something to hold it in place that will allow it to turn. So these parts are the parts you need. So this is a, like an axle that is placed into a holder and that allows the tube to turn when the motor is turning. So that's the basic mechanism in place. Now you need a screen fabric, which you can see here. And if you look at the side from the tube, you can see there's a, an opening here. What we'll do with this piece of fabric, we'll create a pocket here, into which we will insert this, like so. So what you basically have in place is the fabric with the piece inside that will allow you to basically slide the fabric into the tube. And once it's done you have a connection with the, the tube and the fabric and that will allow you to roll up the screen when the motor is turning. So that's basically the whole top already covered. The same what, we did, what we've done with the tube is what we're going to do with the lower bar because you need something um, that will keep the, the screen flat and that's a lower bar that will create some tension because of the gravity and the weight um, of the lower bar. You basically do the same thing at the bottom. You fold the fabric, insert the strip and this then will slide over the fabric so that you have the nice fixation on the bottom as well. So that's basically all you need to create your own electric projection screen. It would be best only to do this when you have something to hide the screen with because of course um, the tube and the fixations will be inside. So if it's uh, just on a plain wall it might stand out too much. Um, so if you have a false ceiling or you can create your own wooden box around it, it will look a lot nicer. Um, the biggest difficulty basically is not putting this all together, it's getting uh, the screen perfectly flat because you want a distortion screen fabric. So that might require some work um, and testing as well. So that's uh, something to keep in mind before you start this project. Apart from that, um, it's not difficult to do assembly wise and it's not expensive because all the parts here are really not expensive and you have a big advantage that you can choose your own screen fabric. So you can you go for an acoustic fabric, matte white, high contrast, 3D fabric. All the choices are yours basically. So um, have fun with it. And if you have any questions, you can mail me at otto at bmax.com or you can leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you.